in an earlier chapter, we talked about the fact that textures can be made up of four types of shaders, color, reflectivity, transparency, and bump. Grass is a component of the shader color, and it simulates surfaces that look like grass or, or other vegetation. There are nine different settings of this feature, and they can create a near-infinite series of variations. Grass can be short or tall, have different colors, its leaves can be straight or wavy and curly, and all of these things can be controlled through the settings and then saved as a texture. Before proceeding, let's open the exercise file for this chapter and render it in final quality render works. The foreground shows a kind of rectangular podium with a green surface on top. We're going to create a grass texture and then apply it to this green surface. The first step is to create a new texture and then go to the color shader and select the grass feature. In the resource manager, we'll click on the new resource button and then in the create resource window, we'll select RenderWorks texture and click on the create button. And then in the edit texture window in the shaders area, click on the color shader selection drop down button and select grass. And now click on the color shader edit button and the edit grass shader window opens. And this is where we apply the settings. So let's apply some settings. For this first go around, we'll take a look at the image of the edit grass shader window that's included with the chapter, and then we'll duplicate all the settings. Now we'll discuss these settings in a bit more detail later. Once we've filled in all the information, we'll click OK to close the Edit Grass Shader window, and then OK one more time to close the Edit Texture window. Now let's apply the texture to the green rectangle in the image. Select the top rectangle, and in the Object Info palette, click on the Render tab. And now we'll select the surface that receives the texture. We'll click on the Part drop-down button and select Top. And then in the texture area, click on the texture drop down button and select texture. And then select the new grass texture we just created. When we're done, render in final quality render works. Now there's a variety of settings that we can use to control the appearance of the grass texture. The first setting is colors. And with this setting, each grass blade can accept two colors. The color in the left box is for the bottom of the grass blade, roughly from the middle of the grass blade to the bottom, and also for a kind of virtual ground surface that's created with a shader. And the color in the right box is for the rest of the grass blade, more or less from the middle of the blade all the way to the top. So two colors. The next item is choose image, and this is an optional feature that can really enhance the appearance of the texture. With this setting, we can select an image which will be tiled onto the base and the colors of that image will be blended into the field of grass almost randomly. And again, this is an optional feature, but it can really make the texture look a great deal more realistic. The next setting is related to the one we just talked about, and that's image blend. So after we select an image, the grass feature can blend this image with the colors that we selected earlier and this setting allows us to control the proportion of image to color. So a high number uses more of the image and less of the colors that we selected in the beginning. And a low number emphasizes the colors that we selected and blends in less of the image. The next setting is length. And this determines the long dimension for each blade of grass. And the one after that is width. And the width determines the width of each blade of grass at the bottom. Just keep in mind that grass blades narrow toward the top. So the width that we put in here is for the bottom portion of each blade. And then each blade is automatically shown narrower as it gets toward the top. The next setting is density. And density controls the density of the blades of grass on the surface where the texture is applied. So the higher the density, the thicker the grass, basically. And a very low density gives you a very sparse appearance. 
Crinkle refers to the curliness of each blade of grass. So the higher the setting, the more curly the blades. The next setting is bend, and this setting bends the grass blades to one side or another. The smaller the number is, the less bend occurs with the grass blades, so they stand up straighter. So a small number makes the grass blades stand straight, and a high number for this feature makes the blades bend over to the side a great deal more. And then finally, wetness applies a sheen to the blades that's intended to simulate a more or less wet appearance. Now we can change these settings to show very dramatic differences in appearance. So it's really worth experimenting with these settings a little bit, and especially with the length, width, crinkle, and bend settings. The exercise file that comes with this chapter has 12 grass textures and all of them have very different settings and we can use them straight out of the box or try modifying them to see the results of adjustments.